Okay, so I'm going to do a beer review. This is what I've got today. Rhubarb Saison by Homebrew, Homebrew Griffo. 5.5%, uh, 27 ABUs, bottle conditioned. So, very much looking forward to this. Mm. So, I really should have the bottle poured and all, you think? I'll learn before I actually do this, so you know you have to sit and watch me pour it. It's looking good already. Got the Bulmer's glass out again. Old trusty. In case anyone doesn't know too, what Bulmer's is. Bulmer's, outside of the Republic of Ireland, Bulmer's is known as Magnus Cider. But in the Republic of Ireland it's known as Bulmer's. Which is weird. In Northern Ireland, it's known as Magners. The strange thing is, too, as well. Sorry, Kelvin, this is slightly off topic and on your beer. But um, another not so why fact is that Magner was the Irish man who built the company, and Bulmer was the English man who took over the company. So the Irish version is known as after an English man, and the yeah, you get the idea. So anyway, back to this. So yeah, that has a beautiful looking head on it. It's got um, really pure white. It's really tiny bubbles. It looks really good. It smells like a saison. Colour looks lovely as well. It's kind of that golden, golden kind of orangey straw colour. It's it's kind of somewhere between a wheat beer and a and an IPA or something like that, you know, it's really really nice. There's bubbles just exploding out of it trying to get out. So again, smell. Obviously there's a big foamy head on it, but even through that you can still get the kind of saison type, you know, uh, the saison smell, the, the farmhouse. Very nice. At the minute I'm not picking up too much rhubarb. Doesn't necessarily mean anything, but because there is. Not what to do, two fingers. Okay, cheers. Homebrew Griffo, thank you very much for sending this to me. Here we go. Actually, I'm definitely getting the, the rhubarb now. That is a really interesting taste, I have to say. That's a really interesting taste, that's really nice. It's like, how do I describe this? <clears throat> well, I'd say it tastes like rhubarb. Hold on, let me think. <laughs> this is the best I've got. It tastes like a saison with rhubarb on <laughs> That is just ridiculous. I'm aware of that. It's kind of, honestly, it's not bitter at all. Let's start with the obvious. It's not bitter. I mean, it's only 20 something ABUs. 27 ABUs, but you can't really taste anything. For all that carbonation, it's not, it's not exploding on the tongue like other drinks would. When you take it in, you kind of get you kind of get the saison, that kind of you know that saison taste, kind of tart, but a little bit tart, but not too much. Um, you get that, and then just as soon as it goes down, 
you just get the rhubarb, the lovely taste of the rhubarb. But it's not too much rhubarb, it's just kind of, you can kind of taste both, you know, the <clears throat> both at the same time. Which makes it very interesting. That's really good. I always wondered what a rhubarb beer tasted like. Because I've seen Steve Wilson was saying his out to loads of people. And I always wondered what it would be like. And there it is right there. But with all that saison, saison of goodness. If I can remember the video. I think it was just like a normal beer and then it was you had like a load of frozen rhubarb in the fermenter and then the beer just went on top and you left it for however long. I think that was pretty much it, wasn't it? I need to watch it again to see but I tell you what that's that's that really good, I'm really liking it. It actually leaves, it really leaves a, a taste on the lips as well, which I haven't had very often. Maybe it's the fruit, it's rhubarb or fruit. Um, I don't know. But I kind of had it as well with Frank's raspberry wheat. It kind of left this lovely taste on the lips. That was a bit, it was a bit sweet and it was a bit tart at the same time. So, maybe what it is. I'm, I think I might. Maybe next year I'll start experimenting with a bit of fruit. Because the two beers I've got with fruit in it have been bloody brilliant. So, yeah. It's just really smooth. I'm really surprised how smooth drinking that is because I mean I'm, maybe that just this glass. It's shelling everything up. It looks, you know, more carbonated than what it is. But it's really smooth. You know what? That's really nice. I'm definitely going to have to try something in the new year. Maybe with a bit of rhubarb. I know where I can get my hands on some, that's for sure. Or a bit of ra some raspberries or something. Or maybe a bit of both, who knows. But yeah, anyway, I'm just waffling now, so I'll just say bye. Thanks a lot for sending this to me, and cheers to everybody out there.